Thank you all for helping me reach 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. To celebrate, I've got some giveaways planned and it begins today. In this video, I'll show you how I created my virtual instrument, Sanjay's Rhodes, and we're launching a beat competition. Winners of this competition will be featured by me and can choose any one of the awesome products from Isotope, RX, Ozone, Neutron, Nectar, Vocal Synth. Wow. Watch until the end for details on the competition. For now, I'm going to show you how you can create your own virtual instrument by sampling sounds and you can share it with the world. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I have lots of videos on my channel on music production and tutorials. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll be sure to make it worth your while. For those of you who don't know, I recently released a sampled instrument called Sanjay's Rhodes on SanjayC.com. Oh, don't forget, there's a free version as well, so don't miss out on that one. You can create your own virtual instrument by sampling sounds, real instruments, or maybe your voice. And you can share it with anyone around the world so they can enjoy the instrument you create and play it on their MIDI keyboard. Also, it's nice to have your instrument in virtual form because it's much more portable. All right, let's get into the details. I started by sampling my Fender Rhodes electric piano from 1975. Now, this is the only tedious part. Everything else was quick and easy using Isotopes RX software. I'll get to that in a second. The Fender Rhodes has a line output, so I could easily just plug it into my audio interface and record the output. If you're recording a purely acoustic instrument, drums, or your voice, you can use a mic, of course. I first recorded every note while hitting the keys at medium force, natural playing style. Every note from top to bottom. Then I recorded every note again with maximum force. This produces a growl, a rougher sound from the Rhodes, especially in the lower keys. I love it. Now, sampling every note multiple times really helps create a quality sounding instrument, but you will end up with lots of sample files, which is gonna make your instrument pretty big. The dry preset of Sanjay's Rhodes on its own is over 400 megabytes. So there are easier ways to do this to produce smaller file sizes. You can just record a few notes and have your sampler instrument magically spread the tone across multiple notes. This results in a much smaller instrument size, but of course the quality and character won't be as realistic as the real thing. You'll need to test and judge for yourself how many notes or samples is right for your instrument. All right, let's move on. Once I had all the recordings, I listened carefully at different volumes and started noticing some buzzing and hum. I was seriously frustrated, but I wasn't gonna go back and re-record everything. So that's where Isotope RX came to the rescue. I chopped the full recording into individual notes and saved them to individual audio files. Yes, this takes a little while to do, but only if you're doing a lot of notes. Once I had the individual files, RX really came in handy. I loaded one of the samples into RX. By the way, RX is software that helps you clean up messed up audio. It's particularly helpful to guitar recordings or removing hum from an old synth, removing reverb and fixing dialogue or vocal performances. RX also lets you isolate musical elements from a fully mixed song. For example, you can take this audio file, which has all the instruments, a finished song, and just extract the vocals. Listen. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked now, so let's get back to my virtual instrument. Okay, so I loaded up RX and I tried D-click, D-crackle, and D-hum. Now, all three tools help to fix the audio.
so much better. So now you see there's lots of other stuff you can do with RX. By the way, you can win this software by entering the competition, wait till the end of the video. And for those of you who are watching in the future, if the competition has ended, I'll add a link to Isotope RX in the video description. Okay, so great, RX fixed this note. What about all the others? Well, this is where batch processing comes in. Once I had the right setting for eliminating the noise, I saved it as a preset. Then I opened batch processing, chose all the audio files and hit batch process. Boom, all files fixed at once. And you can do any type of processing here, normalize, pitch shift, time shift, anything. In fact, you can apply effects from third party plugins to the files to batch process them. This is how I created multiple presets for Sanjay's Rhodes. I'll come back to that in just a bit. All right, once I had the clean files using RX, I moved over to Native Instruments Contact. This was the easiest visual way to create my instrument. Contact is a sampler and you can use other samplers to create your virtual instrument. I'll show you a free option in a second. I opened Contact, created a new instrument, named it and saved it. Then I clicked the wrench icon and dragged each audio file to the corresponding note on the keyboard. Simple. Now, as soon as I drag the sample on, you can play it. Now you can drag in individual audio files for each note, of course. That's what I did for the full version of Sanjay's Rhodes. But you can also spread the audio file across multiple notes in Contact, and Contact will pitch shift and time shift them as you play. Now this is really useful only if you recorded a few notes and want them to span the entire keyboard. If you have multiple velocities, remember I played the roads at medium force and then much harder? You can drag those files in and select the velocity range that triggers those samples up here. You can see the higher velocity here and you can adjust at which point it triggers. I adjusted this just right to make sure I made the instrument feel very natural. I created two presets, dry and coarse, using every sample note from my Fender Rhodes. You'll get both of those in the full version of Sanjay's Rhodes. By the way, you can download Sanjay's Rhodes from sanjayc.com and open my contact files or any of the other formats that I included and look under the hood to see how I did it. It's all there. You can pretty much dissect exactly what I did in contact. The nice thing about contact is that you can also apply effects right inside contact, but I didn't do that for my instrument because I instead process the files individually using effects plugins to create some interesting presets. All right, I'm gonna pull apart one of those light presets right here. This is basement. You'll see that I didn't use every note that I recorded here, just a few, and I spread them out across multiple keys. This allowed me to create an instrument that was much lighter and smaller in file size. Okay, great, so I made the contact instrument, but what about the other formats that I created? Well, I wanna talk about the SFZ format I included. SFZ files can be opened with the Sforzando plugin, which is totally free for everyone. I wanted to make sure that anyone can use my virtual instrument and they didn't have to buy another plugin or a sampler to use it. So I created the SFZ version. The SFZ file is really just a text file that can be read by certain plugins. FL Studio has a plugin that works with SFZ, or you can just use Sforzando. Let's look at the file. You'll see right at the top that I use something called Translator by Chicken Systems. I use this software to quickly convert my contact instruments to other formats, including Logic Sampler, Ableton Sampler, and SFC. It was a time saver, but you can code these yourself as well. Check out the SFC file format. It's really simple. You could just copy what's in my file and save it with the SFC extension. Yeah, feel free to copy the code in my instrument to help you make your own. You'll see it's simply referencing the audio files in the code and setting the low key, high key, and the center key, which corresponds to the original key of the note that you played in that audio sample. If you have my Rhodes instrument, you can just open this file. You can download the free version of my instrument as well and look at the SFC file. When I finished creating my contact instrument and the SFC instrument, I saved everything to a folder along with the audio files, the individual note samples, and I zipped them and uploaded them for you. That's it. But 
wait, what about the competition and the Isotope prizes? Okay, to enter the competition, you must subscribe to my channel, create a piece of music at least one minute long using Sanjay's Roads. You can use any version, the full version, the light version, or even the free version. And you can add other instruments, drums, etc., to it. Download it at sanjayc.com. Next, post your song on Instagram and tag Sanjay C and hashtag Made with Sanjay's Roads. Make sure you post it by midnight, October 25. I'll choose five winners and each winner will get to choose, yes, choose any standard version of the best Isotope products. My favorites, RX, Ozone, Neutron, Nectar, and even Vocal Synth. This competition is open to anyone. You don't need to purchase anything. Remember, you can get the Sforzando plugin for free, and I have that free version of Sanjay's Roads. Show your style, get creative, and keep making the music you love. I'll see you guys later.